Boxing King Media in association with Boxer. Delighted to be joined by Norman Hussein. Uh, Norman, we're back here again. Another big event for GBM. I keep saying big, but this is getting bigger now. We're in an arena. It's your fourth fight, and you're fighting uh, Kane Singh. And I think I'd like to say it's probably going to be your first fight where the guy's coming to win. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, the truth is, I've just been boxing journeyman so far. I think that even the first chap. Uh, gave it a bit of a goal, but after a few minutes, he sort of uh, took a step back. But yeah, this kid is coming for it. Um, but that's what I've been asking Izzy for a while now. Um, would have liked a better step up, but I can't really ask for much. I can't really brag. I've only had three fights, so each fight's uh, uh, something new. Each fight, I'm learning something else. So uh, I'm just excited and raring to go now. Well, we, we both know when you're fighting somebody that's coming on debut. I know this guy's looking to go on the road, but. It comes from a white collar background, so it is, like you said there, he's going to be coming to win. Um, do you know much about him? Have you managed to find any footage of him? Yeah, I don't really study opponents too much, um, but I've seen a, a clip, and that's enough for me. You know, uh, likes a good goal, likes a good swing, but I think my boxing skills will uh, pay dividends, and I'll just, uh, if I start off good and be sensible off my jab, hopefully get a smooth, smooth victory. Um, not looking to uh, impress the crowd much or anything, but if uh, if it comes, if I can break him down in the third and fourth, hopefully I can do that. Uh, so obviously it's your, your fourth fight with Izzy. So when you were signed with him, obviously I think I said this to you a while ago. There's always doubts: shall I go with this guy? Shall I not? Um, has he produced for you? Definitely, definitely. I think um, the issue is, it's a risk for anyone. I mean, a lot of people told me prior to boxing. Um, be careful, you know, don't go with this guy, don't go with it. They've heard bad stories, but uh, with Izzy so far, I've been uh, I've been blessed, really. He's put on some big shows, so I can't really ask for more. He's uh, He's been good, and it's another step up, big big show. Um, two title fights on the main card, so I'm uh, really privileged to uh, to be on such a big undercard. How are you finding the fact that, obviously, you know, you work in the, uh, as a, in the cardiology ward at Sheffield Hospital, and now that the levels are going to go up, the, the rounds are going to get longer, uh, are you going to have to take um, work less hours or are you going to just balance the two? Yeah, so so far I've been lucky. I'm still full-time um, working for the NHS. Um, eventually I'll have to sort of take a step back and eventually go part-time and then eventually all being well, um, you know, put my, put my heart on my sleeve and go full-time in the boxing career. So far I'm lucky and cherished enough to have the skill set that I can still work full time and still train enough, find the time and still beat these kids but eventually once uh, I step up and box these high level opponents I'll have to sort of reconsider um, my uh, my career in the NHS and sort of take a step back but for now I'm quite lucky I don't need to, you know, I'm still doing a number on these opponents uh, but eventually yeah I'll have to but so far Fingers crossed, I'm, uh, I'm OK. Uh, Just give us a quick rundown of what's a typical day, day where you, you, I'm guessing you're training in the morning, then you're going to work. Just tell us, like, you know, dealing with some, obviously not telling you to name patients, but the kind of things you might be dealing with and then the training you might do. Yeah, yeah, so I deal with really intense um, sort of level three patients that come in, um, stabbings, accidents, car crashes. Some have major, major heart uh, attacks, heart surgeries. So, um, so it can be really quite demanding, not so much physically, but mentally demanding. And the long, long shifts, I could be there all day. Some days are short, but mainly, mainly long days. But luckily I'm only in sort of three to four times a week. So every other day um, when I'm not working, I'm training. So I like to get uh, on my days off two to three uh, sessions in. And then when I'm working, I usually do a swim or a jog after, after my training. So I train more than enough. So far, it's not getting in the way, but eventually, when when I need to step up, then uh, then I'll have to take a step back. But so far, yeah, I'm busy, but I like it like that. You know, if you if you want to do something, you find time. You definitely have to, man. Well, all the best to you. I'm excited to see. You know, you always got exciting ring walks and you got flashy style. So I'm sure the fans will tune in. Uh, it's going to be live on the Talksport YouTube channel as well as Boxing King Media uh, YouTube channel. So lots of people are going to be watching your fight. Oh, amazing. Um, yeah, yeah, I've done all the hard work now. Just want to thank my coaches, my sponsors for, for helping me out. You know, I wouldn't be here without them. 
and obviously the fans that are tuning in. You know, make sure you tune in. It's gonna be it's gonna be a good show. Good man, no man is saying thank you.